no. This is really getting on my... No. It started right up. No, I want to ride. I'm so sick of this. No, I don't want to push. I look like an... No! All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Odyssey Life. I'm Bernie, this is the Odyssey Life Workshop, and I'm always super stoked you guys stop by. I don't know if you follow the, uh, the uh, Odyssey Life Facebook page or not, but I kind of put a post in there and said that last week's video, the, the video before that, all the way back to the video uh, where we first fired this thing, um, it has never fired, I mean, it's never started right, it's never ran right, um, and it turns out <laughs> that I received the machine uh, not, uh, like, not plumbed in with the fuel lines correctly. Uh, everything was wrong. I took this machine apart. Um, I remember how I took it apart. I tagged and bagged everything, and it was wrong from the gate. And I stared at the manual for, for weeks and weeks and just couldn't figure out the problem. So I'm going to grab you guys, put you on a little handheld thing, and I'm going to give you a walk around and uh, give all the shout outs to the people that helped me figure out the problem. So give me a sec. So I know this looks a lot different than when you were here last time. Uh, the seat's missing. The exhaust middle portion is missing. We, uh, when, I, when, I put, when I reassembled this, I didn't, I didn't put our, our guard that protects us just in case these, one of these clutches blows up or that belt kicks loose. It doesn't crack our block or do anything stupid. So we have our uh, stock shield that goes on there. And plus having that out will allow us a lot of room to get into our uh, proper vacuum nipple to hook our uh, very sexy stock FL350 tank. There's a lot of embarrassing things to admit to this week. Uh, when I did the tank sealing kit on that tank, uh, although I put the precautions in to blow that pickup line out three or four times before I sat it down, apparently I didn't get a all of the excess out because it filled our pickup line. So when we go to install that, we'll be installing a JEGS 12 by 1.5 millimeter fuel, uh, well, 3 8 inch uh, fuel bung through our drain plug, and then we'll plumb that in to our, to our pump and all that. But getting our fuel system correct and getting that tank installed is going to solve all of our running issues, everything. Um, and I also wanted to give a big shout out to Joe from Odd ATV for giving me the missing piece of information, namely that when you're standing on the back of the machine and you're reading the manual, it references the right crankcase vent. Right crankcase vent. Well, no, because that one right there is what, uh, when I received the machine, that's what it was hooked up to. And it never had fuel pressure. It never ran correctly. Uh, the second time I ran it, this engine blew up. I knew nothing of two strokes. So anyway, when you're standing in front of it, this is your right side. Uh, I didn't know that. So he gave me the missing piece of information on where that uh, the crankcase vacuum nipple is. Solves all of our fuel issues. We'll be able to finally then use Bill K's uh, Bill K's uh, carburetor tune tips. Uh, there was another gentleman on Facebook that gave us the volume that our pump should be pumping. Uh, so many good pieces of information, comments in the comment section help a lot, guys. I read them all and I respond to all. Uh, a combination of everybody's knowledge and wisdom put together showed that I don't know a damn thing and that uh, three minds are better than one. God bless the USA, America. That's what it. That's what it sounds like to me, anyway. So, all right. Well, let's get a tripod set up. We'll get you guys set up and fall. Yeah, here's here's these stickers. 
I don't know. I put the big Comet one in there. I really like that sticker. Uh, I got another one to go with our stock fuel pump rebuild we're going to do. Um, we'll be doing that here in just a quick shake of a leg. All right, gentlemen. All right, guys. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on in this video today. We have our fuel system installation. We have a fuel stock uh, Keyhan, uh or the brand that Honda used on the 1985 Honda Odyssey FL350, 250, and 400. And we have a rebuild kit for said stock uh, fuel pump. Now, before this pump even arrived, I got a call from Joe and Joe from Odd ATV. All the parts you're going to see here today came from Odd ATV. We have our stock FL350 fuel pump rebuild kit. We have a uh, Honda uh, stock fuel filter. We have our stock Honda check valve. Um, as well as I did pick up some of these uh, some of these hose clamps. I like these as opposed to the to the crank style ones. I think these look a lot neater and once you get them on the line and you get them pushed on the fitting they're locked on. Uh, these are high quality. Um, so yeah the pump rebuild kit, the filter, and the check valve all oddatv.com that's O-D-D-A-T-V dot com for all your uh, Honda Odyssey FL 250 and 350 parts and he does there are parts for other machines so squeak on through check him out show him some love uh, and he's very knowledgeable extremely knowledgeable uh, will claim that he doesn't know everything but there's nothing that he hasn't known that I needed to know so he did say when you take this pump apart once you take your screws out uh, take it apart like a loaf of bread one layer at a time there are extra parts in this uh, rebuild kit because if you read it, um, it's also a rebuild kit for other year uh, and style um, fuel pump. So we're going to do exactly what he says. First, we're going to start by removing the three screws. Um, I am, I'm using our trusty handy dandy number two, always loaded with a number two Phillips bit screwdriver here. Um, and you just got three standard uh, Phillips head screws, machine screws with lock washers. And you go ahead and run these out. I did have this open beforehand. That's why these screws aren't as crunchy as they were when I took them apart, opened it up the first time. I wanted to see what I was getting into. Okay, we'll set our three screws to the side, make sure we don't lose them, and we're gonna open up our rebuild kit. Not to remove anything just yet, just to get ready to match up part for part. As we take this apart, we're gonna be matching up the layers or the, or the slices of bread. Ouch, all right, let's do this. So we want to be very careful when we do this because I did notice that you get a layer that wants to stick. So I'm going to use my, my thumbnail to go ahead and get that upper gasket or maybe just sit it down. All right, this is part number two. So let's sit these off to the side and then we have a gasket. Yes, and this is the original gasket. So we're gonna go ahead. I do have a scraper handy. All right, there we go. So, being that piece number one, let's go ahead and look in our and I'm going to say that that would be not that one. I'm going to say that one. Yes. 
as you can see, there's that little little doohickey right there. It's another little doohickey right there. Um, the only difference is it does have this little. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and place this as part number one. In fact, now that we have, uh, <laughs> now that we have that part off, we're gonna go ahead and match that up with a new diaphragm. So it'll go gasket, diaphragm, The holes, everything lines up perfectly. And then on the top half, you just have what appears to be one more gasket. Yep. So we have another gasket that goes after and is there anything else let's see yes and on the inside so now we have this piece we will set this like so and then on the back side we have this gasket That goes on here like so. We can remove that. And then, we have our two little springs here. We will drop them right back down in the holes they came out of. And I don't know if you can see, because it's so thin, but there is this little bad boy right here. And when we took this off, it was sitting on there like so, black side up. So you want your two little tabs that are one's facing down and one's facing up. You want that to go on like so. So, you basically take that, take that whole stack, I'm gonna go ahead and use one of my screws to get all this lined up. And once you start getting it lined up, you'll see that the top of the, the outermost gasket has two little tabs, two little holes in it that you have to line the gasket up with. But I think once we get our screws in and get this gasket lined up, there everything will line up in place. So we've just made a reverse loaf of bread and that we're gonna take this whole assembly Flip it upside down, like so. And you'll feel the little, uh, 
the little pins lining up and slam into place. Did you hear that? And then we take our pump face, sandwich that on top, and then start the process of lining our holes up again. Shouldn't be that hard. You already had it lined up once. And if you did it right, all your tabs, the little tab that I showed you on the side, all your little tabs should line up. I'll show you what I mean as soon as I get these screws started. All your little tabs line up right here. They all line up on the side and they are all correct. So it wasn't that hard. The hardest part was getting this first gasket off. So it was, yep, it was just the hardest part was getting that gasket off. Now I'm not gonna give these screws all the beans until I get the get all three of them snugged up, and then we can go ahead and it was surprisingly clean in there too. All right. Hopefully that wasn't too confusing. That is our stock Keyhin fuel pump. Yep, everything works great. You blow in this one and it comes out that one, but if you try to blow in, it doesn't go. And that's going to work just fine. Yep. All right. That's our fuel pump rebuild. The only extra parts in there, I guess there were two extra springs I didn't see. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, hopefully, uh, the, the old springs looked good anyway. So, um, there are a couple extra springs in here, one for each. Uh, you can use them. And there was only this one extra gasket in there. It was just this one extra. So um, I guess we can save that for a rainy day, I guess. All right. And it did come with a really neat sticker, Vertex piston and gaskets. We're going to put that one on our machine as well. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, what'd you think of that fuel pump rebuild? That wasn't that bad, was it? Uh, I did film everything else. Everything else I said, uh, uh, this machine is 99.9% .9 complete, but as you know, the fuel pump rebuild video is like 20 minutes and it's hard for me to keep your guys' attention for four minutes. Uh, so if you can help me out, try to watch the videos all the way through the end. Leave a comment, leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe. Uh, the fuel pump rebuild kit did come from Joe at oddatv.com. Don't forget, go over, give him some love, tell him Odyssey Life sent you. Very knowledgeable man, very awesome man. Thank you, Joe. We couldn't do it without you. And for everybody else, I'll see you in the next video real soon. So stay tuned. Do 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 do.